Hi, this is Eden. We're going to be doing the sibling interview today. Um, Maria made it for me. So, what is the weirdest food combination that you like? Probably vanilla ice cream and potato chips. Um, yeah, I haven't... Gibbs wants to be let out. Hold on. I'm going to go let him out. Um... I uh, haven't met anybody else who has eaten vanilla ice cream and potato chips. Like, I don't know. That's something weird I do. Um, what is the most expensive thing I've ever broken? Either the I threw a piece, I threw a roll of toilet paper at my brother, and it hit a light once, and that broke. So that was pretty expensive. But also. That we, me, Maria, and Haley were sitting up in the treehouse a couple years back, and we had one of my mom's big Tupperwares up there. It was glass. It was a really bad idea, but we made popcorn, so we're like, let's take it up to the treehouse and have like a little picnic. And then, so I knocked it off the edge of the treehouse, and there's this netting with cement underneath it, and so it slid onto the netting, and we're like, oh, it didn't break. That's good. So, and then as we're reaching for it, it kind of slides right into one of the holes. In the netting and just slides through and then falls and, and it was like slow motion and then it shattered everywhere and we had to clean it up but that was like probably like a two-piece thirty dollar set or something so like i don't know but i haven't broken anything super expensive i did dent the car once with a water bottle um what is your favorite disney movie and why i have no idea it might be tangled i don't know yeah, Maria said she'd make this hard for me. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> let's just go with I don't know. I like Tangled just because, I don't know, I like the movie. That's not a very good answer. Um, I like Home, too. I'm not sure if Disney made Home. And because I like the aliens in it. And I like... Um, Maria, is The Iron Giant a Disney movie? I don't know. Okay, can you shut the door, Maria? And let me see. You know what? How about you come over here and help me with this? Um, what? I wanted, what is in my favorite Disney movie and why? Are I'm still, yes. Um, I already gave you the question, so why? I know. You? I'm still, I never, I never got it though. So, I don't know. Um, what's my favorite outfit? My favorite outfit is probably, um, jeans and, like, my red t-shirt with my Converse. Or, like, one of my tunic shirts with the jeans. Um, I have black pants, too, that I like. Um, if I had to live as a character in a book, which book and which character would it be? Um, probably Ella from uh, Hero's Guide to Saving Your Kingdom. I've always liked that book series. It's a book series. Um, also, I was like, what? I know, he should have written another one. Um, and I'd probably be her. Um, what is my favorite stuffed animal? I have two. One's a rabbit named Cottontail that I've had since I was probably, um, seven, six, seven maybe? I don't know. Probably six or seven. And then another one is, um, a ra badger, not a raccoon, named Ren, not after Kylo Ren, um, that we bought at the store with my friend Haley on it. So those are probably the two favorite. The rabbit's probably the favorite one though. Um, what is the weirdest thing you have ever seen anyone do? Uh-oh. Maria? <laughs> the weirdest hey, thing I I've ever you, seen I anyone see you, do? Um, I'm going to skip that one because... Don't, just don't even give any hints about it. It's like, inappropriate. I, let's just say I walked in on hey, you somebody in the bathroom. Um, and you disturbed everybody, including me, by telling people about and it. And... I was traumatized for 
life. It was it was one of my siblings. And you slightly traumatized me. And I traumatized everybody else, <laughs> all the children, except for and that one child. Person. And, yeah, Maria's disturbed. So she said I could skip that one. Um, uh huh. Uh, what are you most proudest of? Um, Abby, you just have to be quiet. Um, uh, um, don't come over here, Abby. Um, I'm probably, so I'm not proud of it. I wasn't proud of it then, but it's kind of um, funny now. So we were doing archery with one of my friends, and I was boasting about how <laughs> I, uh, we, well, my dad drew this, you know, William Tell how to shoot the apple off his son's head. And some, I don't think it's a true story, but he was having us do chart practice the apple, and he was Emily dared me to shoot the apple, so I was like, I'll do it. And um, then instead of shooting the apple, I shot the arrow, and it went and it hit William Tell's son right in the middle of the forehead. It was drawing, so <laughs> it's, it's funny. So I'm kind of proud of that now. Also, when I was younger, my cousin Lauren and I. Ransacked um, my cousin Dylan's room and stole a lot of his stuff and hid it in her closet and he didn't notice. So I was pretty proud of that. We also freaked him out. There's a lot of stories like that. Um, but I'm not exactly sure if that was my proudest moment. Um, if you had to listen to one song over and over again for a whole day, which song would it be? This is hard because after you listen to a song over, and over and over again for a whole day. Not only do you memorize it, but sometimes you don't like it anymore. But I'm one of those people who my mom gets really annoyed because I do, if I like a song, I'll play it over and over and over again. So I think I've done that with Ships in the Night, the For King and Country album, and Miracles, and Limitless. It's probably gonna be an, hmm, for the entire day. Is it a school day? Any day. Any day. So, probably. Miracles by Colton Dixon. Like, today. Because, I mean, I've already done that. What about Saturday? That'd be Saturday. Like, that, that would be on a Saturday. Because yeah. Sarah likes dancing to that song. And, so. Oh no, I know what song I choose. I choose Baby Shark. I, I choose that one and I turn it on all day. You torture yourself. I actually kind of like the song Baby Shark. You do it then? You kind of yeah. like it then. It's over and over again. Not, um, not yeah, but I mean, yeah, I'll do it. I don't know. And Sarah will be happy. Um. Who is the best villain? Book or movie, not real life. Nag the Nameless. Maria. I what? think Nag the Nameless. Or Darth Vader. So do you mean Nag like best Nameless. villain as in like they're very good at being villainous? I mean best villain in your opinion. In my opinion. But I tend to get attached to my villains. And what if, is, what's the best like, in your opinion? Um, hmm. I really like, uh, Darth Vader's pretty cool. I don't understand. Do you mean like the worst villain or the best villain? Whoever you think is the best villain for whatever reason. Not the Nameless was really good though because at the end he repented, kind of. It was kind of a weird book series. Uh, the Wing Feather the Saga. Of the ancient stones. Uh, stuff. Okay, but the it did have a good storyline. Um, <laughs> I'm reading my paper upside down. Um. What? Uh. What is? Which book do I hate the most? Oh, there's a lot of bad books that I've like started reading, like in the library, and then realize they're bad. I really don't like the selection. 
Like, don't listen to your friends when they tell you to read something that you have no idea. And just don't. Just don't. Like, look at look at what the book's about before you start reading it. So, I don't like that one. But I'm not sure which book I hate the most. I mean, I really hate Diary of a Wimpy Kid and Wally McDougal books because they're just so stupid. Um, Wally well, McDougal books are worse, though. Wally McDougal books because are worse. Diary of a Wimpy Kid could actually happen. Yeah, Diary of a could actually happen. And Wally McDougal just couldn't yeah. happen, ever. Um, so, probably Wally McDougal book series. Um, what is the dumbest song ever? The dumb song? The song called The Dumb Song? Or also... Yeah, The Dumb Song. I'll say The Dumb Song. It is... It, it's... I happen to like The Dumb Song, but... It's dumb. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the dumbest song ever, though. See, Maria's very hard. These questions are worded the way I get. I don't know how to do them. Um, what is the worst song ever without cussing Shape of You? I hate that song. I hate it. I just don't like it. I've never liked it. I will listen to the instrumental version. But then again, I will listen to the instrumental, ver instrumental version of almost any song. Um... What's my favorite memory? I have a lot of good memories. So I'm not sure if I have a favorite. Like, I like, I've just had, I have had a lot of good memories. So I don't think I have a favorite memory. I have like a whole list of favorite memories. It's like a lot of favorite memories. And then if I think about it, I'll think of more. Um. Well, like, maybe I'll do another video on favorite memories. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, what singer annoys you the most? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's pretty. Holland, probably too. I mean, I like some of Holland's songs, but she did release, like, an entire breakup album after she was married. So, <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> interesting. Um... That was kind of annoying. We were like, why? Come on. You, you can do better than this. But probably Taylor Swift is the most annoying singer for me personally. Um, what is something that really confuses you? These interview questions really confuse me. Um, also, what else confuses me? A lot of stuff confuses me. A lot of stuff. My life is confusing. <laughs> that was actually not that confusing. Um, hmm. Oh, it's confusing that mommy and daddy won't let me get a puppy. Hmm. That's confusing. I, I, I mean, I have no idea why. I mean, I want. I mean, I, I, I'm responsible enough for my own puppy, right? Um, so what's something that confuses me? Mommy and Daddy not letting me get a puppy? That doesn't confuse me. Oh, you are so mean. She just said that it doesn't, doesn't confuse her. Ooh, really last question. Which uh, sibling do you think is the most likely to kill you in your sleep? Are you trying to tell me something? I think that's an important question. She says she thinks that's an important question. Hey, if you have any idea, it'd be nice to know, because they're out to get, stop videotaping me, they're out to get me too, so. Alright, so the m sibling, Judah's I don't think any of my kibling, Judah is the most unpredictable. I think mean, that he will be unpredictable. You can, yeah, Abigail wouldn't oh, do wait. that. She was telling me that she was going to chop off my head while I slept. Yeah, Abby like, did tell that to Maria oh, once. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, she was mad at me and she said, she told me. That she, while I was sleeping, she was going to get a kitchen knife <laughs> for the dinosaur and chop my head off. It was bad. She was I really she mad. Was, that was a, like a year ago, this though. This was when Papa was watching. So, um, yeah, I think she was just hyper. Um, Joshua wouldn't do it. Joseph might, because he te seems to take pleasure in hitting me with stuff. Um, and then once when he was doing the force choke, I did fall on the floor and was like, I'm dead. And then... Like, I didn't move, and then he started laughing really weirdly. He was just like, <laughs> and then he was like, Daddy, Daddy, I killed him. Yeah, so he went from being good guy to villain. So, 
the things power can do to a little kid's mind. And is that the last question? Do you have any other questions like off the top of your head that would make a grand finale? But I don't think any of my siblings will kill me in my sleep. Does Polly count as a sibling? No! Well, if the most likely to kill me in my sleep in this house are probably the cat or the bunny because they hate me. Polly, Polly just doesn't like me. I don't know why. She likes me if she wants to be pet. Otherwise, she hates me at all times. Um, I think that's it. Good night. Hi, Grandma. I know you're watching. We love you. I'll probably. Yeah. Oh, I should do things I like about Grandma next. Maybe. Maybe. I'll do a video. I'll send it to you sometime. Bye.